All right, hi everybody. It's Zach, uh, coach of the Goldenrod City Gallades. Um, this is my first time I'm going to have a guest on one of my commentaries. The guest is Raul. Hi, it's me, Raul. He's the coach of the Olivine City Amphros, and uh, he's seen my match once, and we're going to kind of talk through it as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start the match up now. Um, coming into this match, I was telling Raul all week, belly drum Azumarill is going to be a problem for me. If he belly drums, literally my entire 12 team roster gets one shot by one of the common moves drawn on belly drum Azumarill. And what he said about my team, too, also that I would be in the same situation if you brought that Azumarill. <laughs> you have some answers, but you're you're not so scared. So he ice punches here with Robert Brown. I expect an ice punch, and I know I can live it, even though he is choice banded from that damage. I know he's choice banded ice punch. So I get to set up stealth rocks, and since he has to loaf around or switch out, I get to roost that damage back off. So it's kind of like I traded more like 40% of my health for rocks, so I'm okay with that. So I have rocks up, <clears throat> and I'm going to roost this off and get back up to 117. Damn that rubber brown. Yeah, rubber brown. <laughs> so I'm going to knock this off because I know it's going to have EV light. That's what makes Type Null decent. Um, and he turns out, which I'm okay with. It does barely any damage. So I've removed his EV light and I have rocks up and I've only sacrificed like 40% of HP on my Gligar, so I'm feeling good. Um, out comes Kawaii 5 -0. One thing I want to talk about is he didn't bring Mammoth Swine or Mega Lopunny, which I was fairly prepared for. Um, I was scared of Mammoth Swine, Mega Lopunny, and uh, Belly Drum Azumarill. But I figured Kawaii 5 has got some crazy coverage moves and I He's going to Ice Beam, so I swapped out the Louie, barely did anything, and he's going to come back out to Type Null. Um, I wanted to Dragon Tail here, as you can see, but I missed the Dragon Tail. My plan is to just start phasing, because he's going to keep trying to like get some kind of good switch in. And I figure if I keep trying to phase, it would do well, but I missed my Dragon Tail, and then he gets a crit Shadow Claw. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Oh man, uh, I think you had a really uh, rough game this time. No, I mean, I've had rougher... I miss a dragon tail, so be it. <clears throat> when I was doing, uh, and then, so I know that I'll live one unless it's a crit again, so I'm just like, whatever, I'm gonna scald and finish this type null off. So, Louie's really low, but I have regenerator, so I can swap out and get some HP back. Um, but doing mock battles for this battle, um, I have blue flare on Victini this week, and I have missed like three blue flares in one match. And with Victini's ability, um, he has like a 10% accuracy boost, so the move is like 93% accurate, and I've missed it so many times. I'm just so unlucky. That, that yeah, that, oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> that hurt. I, I, that's not even my mind, but after what you just told me, that hurts a lot. Like this fire blast, holy crap. Yeah, so that fire blast hurt a lot. I'm going to roar him out. This is, again, coming back to kind of the phasing idea I had, but he had just such crazy coverage moves. So he brings this out, and I know he's going to have sheer force, possibly life orb. Um, and he's gonna have flamethrower or fire blast. I expected flamethrower because of what I was talking about. I never run fire blast because I'm gonna miss it so many times. So I come out to Deku who can live two flamethrowers. He actually has fire blast, so he's gonna land this fire blast and it's gonna do a crap ton of damage. Um, and I now can no longer stay in it. I have to switch out. So Nike can take one, but he brought shadow block, shadow ball on his Nido Queen. Wow. <laughs> Which does a shit ton of damage to Nike. But Nike outspeeds, and there was a roll if he wasn't defensively invested that uh, Psychic would kill, but judging how it barely did any... Well, it didn't do nearly as much as the damage... Than I, as much as I was expecting. Which means that he's got at least a little bit of defensive investment somewhere. Um, but then Deku can come in and kind of clean this up unless he wants to switch out. Um, and I don't think he's trying to switch out because if he does that, he might give me an opportunity for a free Swords Dance. So I think he just comes in and tries to Shadow Ball me. And I know that he's probably going to do that, so I just finish him off with a Night sh Slash. <clears throat> hey, yeah. So Neo Queen's down. I've lost one, he's lost two. Rubber Barone comes in on some rocks. I still have rocks up. It's t chipping away at his team. I'm going to have to switch out because he's going to do something that hurts really bad. Um, choice banded. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go out to Birdo. Birdo's gonna die at almost anything he's got. He ran. He did Shadow Claw just for good measure. I'm pretty sure he could have done any move that Slacking has and would have finished Gallade off from that HP. 
if he's choice banded, but he just wanted for uh, to be sure. So now I know he has to loaf around or swap out, so I get a basically a free sword stance here. But at this point, he brings out Bubbles, who, if you don't know, Bubbles gets Aqua Jet. Um, and looking at the damage calcs, Aqua Jet actually does like 60% to Gallade, so I die to an Aqua Jet here, so I gotta swap out. Um, but then I find, so I bring an MGMT, and I find out he did an Aqua Jet. Yeah, how's it going, man? He play rough. So, that's important for me because I have Thunder Punch on my um, Gallade, and if I had enough HP to live an Aqua Jet, I would have just Thunder Punched and then kind of started um, sweeping away the rest of his team. But, uh, I mean, he he play roughed, and I I guess I choked there a little bit. Did, were you kicking yourself? And, uh, and... Yeah, I was like, really, he went for play rough. I don't know if he knew Aqua Jet would kill because he does reveal he does have Aqua Jet. So I come in and I Toxic him. And what do you know, he has Belly Drum. So I wanna say, I was talking to Raul all week, like this Belly Drum's gonna suck. And Trez is like, nah, he's not gonna bring Belly Drum. Do you really think he'll do that? He didn't bring it against me. Um, and I just wanna like use this <laughs> opportunity as a message for everyone in the league. Um, when you play Raul, you bring like really normal sets with nothing like out of the box. And then you play me with like, Trick Brooms, <laughs> Trick Room Z Shadow Ball, or Belly Drum Azumarill. Don't give him ideas. Like, <laughs> start bringing this to Raul, because I guarantee it, you'll you'll find more success than bringing like the usual conservative stuff that comes against Raul. Don't do it. Don't do it. Over but anyway, brain. these Aqua Jets are gonna start cleaning up. Um, he just killed Gallade, and all I have left is Louie. Um. So yeah, Louis gonna come in. I'm gonna die to a knockoff, and this Azumarill is gonna get the sweep. Um, Azumarill is very, very scary if you can get a Belly Drum off. Um, he did well there to start the Belly Drum on my defensive Mon that can't really do a whole lot to him. I toxic him just to hope I could maybe whittle him down and have still some Mons left <laughs> to do something with, but it didn't work out that way. Um, with my lack of priority moves on my team, it made it a lot harder. I could have run Shadow Sneak on Gallade. It was something I considered, but I didn't think it was good enough because I had uh, already used Sword Stance, so then it only gave me three moves for coverage. So I opted out of Shadow Sneak. Another thing I could have done is I could have put Taunt on Gligar. If, if his zoom roll did not have speed investment, then I would have outsped and I could have taunted. But it's kind of a gamble, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, because if he is max speed, I believe he would outspeed my Gligar, and the taunt wouldn't have mattered anyway. He would have already got the belly drum off, and I would have taunted, and it would have been even worse than Toxicking. Um, like I said, from, from the beginning, I knew this Mon was something that was likely to come, because if you just look at my team, it's like one shot by belly drum Aqua Jet, <laughs> one shot by belly drum Aqua Jet. One shot by Belly Drum Aqua Jet. One shot by Belly Drum Knockoff. I was just knockoff. trying to get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, awesome. you got to be real. Like, you got to look at what this this threat is. And, I mean, there were, wasn't a whole lot I could do about it. My defensive mods don't get reflect. Could have called his mom fat. No Zoomerill. <laughs> yeah. That would have just made his Zoomerill more angry. He would have broke the game and got plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I did what I could here. It's a, it's a loss in the end. Now the Gallades are 3-8, and eight, but we're going to go into next week with some positivity, and we're going to try to get this win. Um, it'd be awesome if I could end the season with six wins, and that's kind of what I'm going to shoot for. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye!